Recent deaths of 13 service members, including one from right here in our area in Wentzville, really weighing heavily on military families across the area. Tonight, News 4's Caroline Hecker spoke to one mother who lost her son to the war in Afghanistan in 2010 as the United States closes the chapter on the two-decade war that claimed her son's life. Dog tags and photos are all that Lisa Beckerman has left of her son, Michael. He was one of those who would go around and check that everybody was comfortable and felt safe in the hole where they had to sleep before he would go find his own place to sleep. The St. Genevieve native <laughs> served three tours, two in Iraq and one in Afghanistan, with both the National Guard and Army. The 25-year-old combat engineer's life was cut short seven months into his deployment in Afghanistan. He found a cache of bombs. He radioed out. The bombs detonated. The building fell. My son was killed on December 31st, 2010. She found out before the military notified her in a phone call from her ex-husband. And I was like, wait, what do you mean? How bad can this be? And he said, Lisa, you're not listening to me. And then I fell to the floor and screamed. Sergeant Beckerman's picture is adorned on the walls of the Missouri Military Memorial, along with other Missouri service members killed in the line of duty. Proud of the ultimate sacrifice made by her son, Lisa Beckerman worries for the families of those killed in the suicide bombing outside the Kabul airport. There's 13 more families that are going to become one of us a family that we don't want to belong to. She stepped away from social media and the news in the wake of those service members' deaths to protect her own heart. All those years living in a bubble, she says, shattered in an instant. They know what they signed up for. They knew that was a possibility. We all say it's not gonna happen to us. If not me, who? In St. Louis, Caroline Hecker, News 4.